<laughs> Look, it's one of them fancy robots. General Atomic's finest. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, no, no. No fingers away. There we go. Okay. Just say it. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Yay. Hi, honey. Listen, I, I don't think that Sean and I need to tell you how great of a father you are. But we're going to anyway. Isn't that right? You are kind and loving. And <laughs> funny. That's right. And patient. So patient. Patience of a saint, my mom used to say. Look, with Sean and us all being home together, it's been an amazing year. But even so, I know our best days are yet to come. Mm. There'll be changes, sure. Things we need to adjust to. You'll rejoin the civilian workforce and I'll shake the dust off my law degree. But everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. Now, say goodbye, Sean. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, come on. <laughs> Bye, honey. We love you. I can hear you.
not a word, but wouldn't want to leave the years back, before I met Clutch, me and a couple friends found a young kid on the- What's all this? Not this time! Play engage with me, huh? No sign of him quiet. now. I don't like it. You? Come on, it's uh, over. They must have run out. You can relax. Right.
decided we were too much trouble. Made the right choice, Kyle. Open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary oh, reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. in this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. Hear that? Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that Ooh, printer that scrapped for Mr. parts. Dunna? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Piper. Why don't we ask the newcomer? Do you support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Oh, I... Didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Whatever. I'm not going to be here long. Ugh, another see-no-evil type. You'll fit in just fine with all the inept guards. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Some tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? Oh, sure it did. Happened so fast you forgot all about basic human decency. Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. 
Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. We can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people pay? I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this. How about we do a simple trade? Money for information. Ah, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said that. They're just a scapegoat, all right? If you really want to know, there's a whole newspaper inside the city that won't stop talking about them. Public. So, this is the famous Diamond City. I suppose I hope to find civilization in the rough, if you will. Hey. Sir? Heads up. Sir? Codsworth. Take this. Missing on the time when Mum made that hollow tape for you, sir. I don't think you two were ever happier than those last. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned. I'm serious. The Institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. <laughs> You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. So what are you doing in Diamond City anyway? Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? That's what I'm telling you. So who... I'm looking for Sean. You have a son, mister? Man, you're old. You're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is a... You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. Yeah, I'm definitely sending you to the right place. Good luck, mister. Anyone is one of those things. It's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Mm -hmm. Did you have any luck with those raiders? I took care of those raiders for you. Really? That's the best news I've heard in a long time. By the way, we've talked about it, and we've decided to support the Minutemen. I think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a <coughs> synth! He'll kill us Around all! Around here, we call your haircut the Scav Special. Little flecks of blood, give it the personal touch. You should think about getting a trim. Okay! Kyle, Show no! Them. There are no synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your on. damn paranoia. He pulled a gun on me. My own brother. Sometimes you gotta wonder. I told you your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. Well, you can take a seat and wait for the next Armageddon. Because the detective ain't coming back. Don't worry, I can help. Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. 
There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he... Who's this skinny mo- I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of- Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup.
gun finished. Heads up. Sir? Head Wait, follow me.
Yeah? Who needs a haircut? Everyone a patient. A new file to open. Blood pooling in the gums. Signs of anemia. Yeah. We better clean you up. Oh, wow. That's a lot of blood. We'll need to operate right away. Oh, man. You got a robot butler? Officer? I hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. The combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dark.